Appliance Factory and Mattress Kingdom, 5-star rated, over 5,000 reviews, guaranteed we beat Home Depot and Lowe's. The nation's largest discount appliance dealer, over 24 stores in 3 states, visit us at appliancefactory.com. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, this is Lauren again. Today we're going to be going over why LG washing machines rate so highly. Uh, this is our most entry level washer that we have on the floor, this is the uh, WM3500, really popular machine and every year it seems like on Consumer Reports, LG and Kenmore both kind of work together to make the same machine. They're both high up on Consumer Reports and his overall ratings across the board, not just Consumer Reports. So we're gonna go, go into this machine here and we'll kind of dive in and, and tell you why this machine is so good. First thing, LG, the direct drive motor. In this machine, there's no belts, clutches, pulleys, or brakes. There's basically one drive shaft and the motor that's attached to it. It uses basically magnets to make the motors or make the drum spin. It's able to spin up to 1100 RPMs on this particular model. Um, and with that, there's no belts, clutches, pulleys, or brakes, like I said, it's just more efficient. Uh, these, I'm not sure if the shipping bolts are in there, but a lot of these models, let's see if this works. Sometimes I could spin it. I could hear the uh, shipping pins in there, so that didn't work. But a lot of times that'll create its own electricity, enough for it to start up just because they have maggots inside there that create its own little energy field, I guess. I'm not a scientist, but I know it's really good technology. It's, uh, with the direct drive motor, you got uh, Whirlpool, Samsung, uh, Maytag, all your top brands all use the same exact direct drive motor. LG was one of the first companies to, to take that motor and use it themselves. 10 year warranty on the motor team, really good design. Um, next feature that I like on the, the entry level model, they have the tub cleaning cycle. So that heats up the water super hot. It allows kind of like a self clean on the oven. It heats up the water and allows that washer to kind of just get moved around and it kills a lot of that bacteria and old mold and mildew uh, in that. Next thing is it actually has a patent on the door. Down below here, you got this little button on the bottom. Your early front loaders, you had a problem with smells. What this little guy does is when you're not having clothes in the washing machine, it allows that door to stay propped but not shut all the way. So you still get a little bit of resistance to where you have some air that can go in there and allow that drum to dry out when you're not using it. Next thing, um, I like that a lot of features on their entry level models, cold wash. Basically what that's gonna do, it basically mimics uh, a warm wash. Warm water washes better. With a cold wash, it just uses that direct drive motor and the drum to move things around rapidly and allows that uh, water and detergent to penetrate the fabric. So I always recommend on LGs keeping that cold wash on unless you want to use white and whites or something like that and you have your white option that kind of heats up your water there. Um, next thing is your speed wash. Seems more and more of the washing machines are coming out now have the speed wash. I'm not sure of the exact time, but I know it's kind of a half load cycle. You don't want to put too many clothes in this. It works for like an article of clothing for what you're wearing. You could throw it in, say like the clothes you're wearing, you want to wear them again tomorrow for work if you want to do that throw them in there, it's just a faster RPM on the uh, on the ring out cycle when it's spinning. And when that does is it reduces your drying time. So less water, small amount of clothes, throw them in your dryer, they're pretty much all wrung out. They don't need too much time in your dryer. But thanks guys for watching and we'll see you guys next week.